One of the most important things to do with the story is, and I've been told this by Dave Lambert, who works with Howard Books, is to have an end, a beginning, and a middle. Most people say you need a beginning, middle, and end of a story. But, but Dave said you need a killer ending to a story because how many books have you ever read that you put down after you read it and you think, I liked it a third of the way in or, or two-thirds of the way or three-quarters in or 90%. I like 90% of it, but the ending just... I just didn't like the ending. So with this book, I tried as hard as I could uh, over and above anything I've ever written to know what happens in the end. To know, and I had this in my head from the beginning. This is how this is all going to come about. And then I began at the beginning and then worked through all of the, the, the middle. And really, it's a detective story. You're finding out what's going on in this main character's life as well as the life of a man who's been convicted of murder and is on death row and is about to have his life taken from him. You also have the tension of the, the son who has the heart condition who is dying in the hospital. So with all of that as the background, coming to the end of this story that is kind of this cataclysmic reveal that everybody who's read it has told me, I didn't see that coming. Maybe you will. Read it, not in the heart.